Oh, and we are back for another day of Mortal Kombat Conquest. Um, we yesterday we trained with Ermac and we met Ashra. We also trained with her, and no, we trained with her the day before. But anyways, we've met Ashra, um, a demon of Outworld of of Nether Realm, who is purifying her soul by killing other demons using a magic sword. And we just met Ermac and trade with him because Ermac has been sent to uh, kill Ashra. The reason why is because uh, Ashra's been killing a lot of Shao Kahn's, um, I guess, people, warriors, in an attempt to cleanse her soul. And that's not making Shao Kahn happy, so he's sending Ermac, uh, the great warrior, against him. And so we're about to go and uh, deal with that fight. So let's do that. Now, the entire time I'm playing this game, I'm using the run button. Uh, he doesn't run out of juice, so there's no reason not to always hit the run button, to be honest. But his normal speed is like this. Which is pretty slow. Which is funny, because I played through almost half of Conquest the first time I played it, not knowing there was a run button. Kind of changed my life. Yeah, so, what's in there? I, you know, the last video, I was kind of staring at that for a moment. That right there is actually my way out. That's the... Uh, Another realm, Kamidogu. So it's knowing that I can just look at it, but I can't get it. At last, I will defeat the demon Ermac. Your death will bring me closer to purification and ultimately my release from this realm. We are no demon. Surely you can sense that we are not of your kind. Nonetheless, there must be some evil residing within you, or you could not have entered the Nether realm. Enough. You have killed many of Shao Kahn's allies in your quest to purify your soul. You will pay for your insolence. Oh yeah. There's a very long one in stream. So now I get to defeat my old teacher. But, see, this isn't actually Sujinko fighting, which is funny, which I don't know why they showed Sujinko turning into him. Because according to the story, this is uh, Aramak. So, forget the fact that you saw Aramak transforming. I mean, Sujinko transforming into Aramak. Uh, according to the story, this is a fight between Aramak and Ashra, and Sujinko's just watching. So. I believed that voice actor. I believed it. Okay, so she just knocked that from there. So there it is, Makami Dogu. Boom, got it. Now I can exit uh, Nether Realm. However, a whole nother section happens in Nether Realm, so it's not like I'm in here for that short of time. After Outworld, you really feel like when you get to Outworld that, like, wow, I'm really progressing, and then there's this really big back and forth that happens. Um, or is it Sado? I'm not sure. There's a part in the game where you really feel that you're progressing hardcore and then there's this like back and forth between realms before you get to go to the next realm and it's very frustrating. Well, it's not frustrating. It elongates the game and it's fun. But if you're trying to speed run the game, which I'm not really trying to speed run it, I'm just trying to maybe play it in a way that uh, I won't have 5 million conquest videos out there, but it's already looking like we're going to have a lot. Either way, 
I've had a lot of requests for Let's Plays, so that's why I'm doing this. Damashi! Damashi, where are you? I think it's really weird that one section. I understand that time, uh, you know, flies in this, but according to the clock up there, I haven't really paid attention. But it hasn't been years since I last talked to Sujinko. I mean, to um, Damashi. Damashi introduced me to Outworld, and I trained with Ashra, and I trained with um, Armag, and then they fought. Now I don't know how long that training took, but I haven't really aged much, so I clearly didn't train with them as long as I trained with Master Baraicho. So I don't know, that 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 does that's a little that's kind of a weird thing to say. I haven't seen you in years. Just food for thought. That's also the best portal. I wish all their portals looked like that. It's really pretty. Alright, so I'm gonna place the whatchamacallit on the altar. Do I fight this isn't when I fight uh Scorpion yet, is it? Hmm. I don't think it's that soon. Oh no, sure enough. This thing is called Monster in the game, um, but he has all Scorpion's moves and he has Scorpion's armor on certain sections, um, and I'll explain the story more probably when I'm training, uh, if I remember. But now I have to defeat the false champion of the Elder Gods, which is more foreshadowing by the way. Okay. Yeah. Which is a shame that the um, that the stage fatalities aren't on because every one of those bricks you can just throw somebody through and make this fight a lot faster. But that's not the point of this. They don't want you to have a fast fight. Wanted to feel epic. Oh, I have to beat him three times. I'm so silly. We actually go to Chaos Realm next, which is a really cool place. It's 
So chaos realm because outworld's right there. So yeah, it goes earth, nether realm, chaos realm, uh, outworld, Sado, and then Eudinia. So this is Chaos Realm. You notice a lot of things kind of float in midair. Eugenio, I see you are safe. Yes, Tomashi. I am on home. Who was that warrior in the Nexus? I am not entirely sure. I could sense that he was quite powerful, but I did not recognize him. He referred to himself as the Elder God's chosen warrior. Does he think he is their champion? He thinks this that he is mistaken. As I have said before, Yeah, the whole chaos is the religion thing is actually very interesting. It's not explained entirely um, as well through the cutscenes. Oh snap. You there, stop where you are. You must fight if you are to enter the realm of chaos. Okay, well then I guess I gotta fight this guy. Which is funny that he's making that rule, because that would be against chaos. But he's he's a new convert. As you'll learn later on, he's a, he's actually a former guardsman of Sado that has a completely different religion. He just recently converted to chaos. So I will show him what's for. Oh god, that's probably not a good way to start. I must have this set going like easy or something. Which is fine, I guess, for the sake of playthrough. Down to our last minute here, so, uh, but yeah, but basically the way the realm, the religion of chaos works is that they believe that chaos is the key to um, all of existence moving forward. That if things were in perfect order, that uh, there would not be multiple realms because that's that perfect order would be just one thing, one realm. Um, there wouldn't be you know multiple planets that. Um, nothing would have, have evolved um, because all of that comes from chaos, from a lack of order. Um, and so they kind of take it to the extreme and they say, well, every single time something is moved and changed and exists in our world, it's due to chaos, not because of order, because orders, order would have kept everything the same. So that, so they take it to such an extreme though that it's their religion and so their belief is to sow as much chaos as possible. So something like religion, um, something like re religion uh, is a real abstract concept to them. Or something like marriage is 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 insulting because that's a binding contract. So you don't bind them, um, and they'll just sow chaos wherever they need to. Um, which is funny because that concept would make them sound like bad guys. But at the end of the day, they actually end up being the good guys because they're trying because they're trying to stop Onaga. Because it's, because Onaga's goal is to unify all the realms and become like one great powerful being, and that's act against chaos. So actually, the people who seem crazy are actually the good guys. Go figure in the world of Mortal Kombat. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, end this video. I've had a lot of fun today. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna be helping Scorpion and.
training, <laughs> the, thing, the video went off, help with Scorpion and training with, um, training with Havoc, I believe, uh, but first gotta free the water. 